I've been looking forward to this episode for quite some time, man. What a legend we have right here. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today, we are going to be purchasing, upgrading, customizing, and racing a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10, a 2008 Lancer Evo to, uh, to be specific. So it's going to run us $48,000. It's a level 132 stock, which is honestly not too bad. You guys can see it's got a 10 out of 10 customization rating, which is going to be amazing. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. So overall stock, it's probably going to be pretty pretty slow. It's a fairly old vehicle. I mean, it's it's a four-door sedan. But uh, the, the customization options here, the, uh, the the stuff we're going to be able to do this is really, really exciting. And uh, I, I can't wait, man. Like we Obviously, we've already kind of checked this thing out in the main game. There was, I think with like the special edition that I pre-ordered, we did get to use it early on in our story mode but uh, we didn't get to actually customize it we didn't get to actually make it our own so i'm excited to do that here in this episode and uh let's see what we can get done so i do want to upgrade this thing but i don't want to go too hard i do want to do some different types of races i feel like we've maxed out to 1400 horsepower a lot of vehicles recently so we're going to make it fast but not too fast i'm thinking of leaving it around a 300 so we're going to more than double its stock performance which i feel like is pretty good probably gonna need to engine swap to get there though i'm honestly i don't know we might be able to do it without it let's let's listen to the exhaust here see that sounds pretty nice and i i kind of don't want to end up changing that up so let me see what i could do here if i go through an ultimate plus every single part oh we're definitely going to be able to get to 300 we're already at 287 Whew. we're at 324 all right this thing's at what Dude, should we just do it? Do we put the twin turbo? Yeah, it's a twin turbo on there. Should we just do it? Should we should we just go all out? I'm down to go all out. We're not gonna we're not gonna engine swap it and and, and change everything like that, but I'm I'm down to go all out, give it some good tires, give it uh, all of our, our best parts that we can and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what this thing's made of. So after all of our upgrades, we're going to end up with uh, 890 horsepower, 2 liter I-4 engine. And uh, not too bad, man. We're going to be the level 378, 6.4 power, 7.6 speed, 9.4 acceleration, and obviously a 10 with that 15-pound uh, tank of nitrous. Not bad. All right, now let's hop in. Let's see what we can do for paint and wraps, see what the community's got for us. Do these things are so beautiful. There are so many customization options. I can only imagine what people are uh, are doing with it. Ooh, look at the... The claw marks, the scratches over the eye right there. Not bad, all right. I'm honestly not incredibly impressed with what I'm seeing so far. That's not bad with the carbon hood. I think I'm going to work with that. I, 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 I like the carbon hood on there. I like that he's already got it set up for me. If you guys don't know, you actually you have to like custom make the carbon in this game. So it's uh, it's it's not easy to do. I'm going to go with this, but I do think, I think we're going to edit the wrap. I think we're going to edit the paint and we're going to change up the, uh, change up the color. To be honest, I don't mind the red. I feel like a yellow would look pretty good here. A green could look super cool as well. Ooh, 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 that's kind of interesting. Dude, I don't mind that at all. Let me see what other options we have. We could go for more of like a baby blue. We could go for a purple. The purple actually looks pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. The hot pink looks pretty good, and of course we already kind of talked about the red. Shoot, dude, the hot pink looks good. I like the green a lot. Which green did I like? I liked that green. I'm going to go with that, dude. We haven't really made too many green cars, so I think I'm going to go with that. I'm down to leave Juice Box on here. I don't know if this is... Um, I don't know if this is this is the person that made it or what, but I'm, I'm down to rock with it. We're going to put that... That green on there looks pretty good. Is there anything else that we want to edit, add, or take off or anything? No, we're looking we're looking pretty good. All right, that's a good base. We're going to save the changes there. Looks good to me. Go ahead and overwrite it. I feel like the green's just a little bit more, uh, little bit more unique than the blue. So I'm going to go with green nitrous. We're going to take out the uh, the effects here. Green nitrous. We're going to go with some, some ooh, what do we want? Mint green or regular green? I'm going to say green tire smoke. We're going to go with some green underglow. And call it a day.
They've actually got a green and yellow wave. I'm gonna go with that just to see what it looks like, just because we haven't really done that. Should we air suspension it? Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, stance, we're probably gonna lower this thing pretty much all the way. And, uh, and yeah, all right, we'll get to exhaust and stuff afterwards, but let's check out our, our body options here. So I'm gonna take a look at our front bumper. Ooh, that's another one straight from Mitsubishi OEM, not bad. Oh, the Varus kit. Absolutely, that gives it so many nice angles and lines and stuff like that. Splitter, Speed Hunters, Carbon. Hmm, we do have a Varus option. I think we might end up going with the Varus body kit here. I feel like that's gonna look, gonna look pretty good. I'm gonna smoke out the headlights. Oh, this, well actually, you know what? I feel like it, oh shoot, gotta get back to the headlights. I feel like it doesn't really need it, if you want me to be honest. Do we have any green options? Ooh. I like the, the Varus New Age look here. Okay, we waste a little bit of money there, but we're okay. We've got some Varus options here. Gonna go with the double. All right, looks good. Dude, this, this thing is already looking super, super sick. Let me see what we've got going on for our hood. Ooh, what do you guys like the best? Honestly, the stock doesn't look bad. I guess we're gonna go with Varus, though. Let's, let's keep it, let's keep it clean throughout. Let me see what we can do for our, uh, our front fenders here. It's got speed hunters. We've got, oh, oh, dude, the Varus looks nice, but I actually really like the SFLA. I'm going to go with the SFLA. I was not expecting that. Just threw me for a, uh, a bit of a curveball. I'm trying to get up to our mirrors. Sometimes, I, well, what is, oh, I was going to say, it just didn't load in yet. I was going to say, what is that? Got quite a few mirror options here. I'm gonna say, I guess we could go with the Varus mirrors, adds the carbon fiber. Any carbon fiber accents we can get, definitely, definitely worth it. SFLA or Varus? I'm gonna say Varus. All right, so we're going with a nice little mix here. Nobody really knows exactly what's gonna end up happening. We've got Varus or SFLA. I think I'm gonna go Varus, dude. Oh, this thing is looking good. <laughs> Oh, this is sweet. We can get some rear canards. I'm gonna throw some rear canards on there. Dude, this this honestly so far is looking like one of my favorite builds that we've done yet. Can't put the Varus thing on here because of the rear canards. I'm gonna take the rear canards off just to see what this Varus. Absolutely. I'll get rid of the rear canards for that. That looks absolutely amazing. All right, we've got that. Then we can change up the diffuser. We've got a carbon diffuser. This thing, which looks pretty sick. Dude, there are so many cool options here. The SFLA is ugly. I think we're gonna go with the Varus. Oh my goodness, bro. This is insane. All right, license plate. Gonna change up the background. I don't think there's a green. There's not a green, so that hurts a little bit. I guess we can go with something that's a little bit more white than anything else. Is there another one that doesn't have the red? Yeah, we'll go with this. Looks good, and then we could even, we could we could kind of throw that on there just to kind of black it out a little bit more. I wish we could just remove the, the license plate, man. I'm gonna say, um, the green machine. That's kind of lame, but I couldn't really think of anything else. I was trying to think of something related to Lancer, but. I, I, I couldn't. All right, so that's that's pretty nice. We can smoke out the taillights or we've got a Varus option. I feel like the smoked looks better. Uh, I'm gonna go full smoke. All right, yeah, that, that looks pretty solid there. And then of course, we need to, uh, shoot, this is always so weird. We need to add the, the, the spoiler here. There it is, all right. So we've got our stock one, which honestly looks really good. I really like that look. I don't think we need to change it, but we can check it out. Not gonna go with that, not gonna go with that. Big Country Lab spoiler. I mean, that one's kind of interesting, kind of unique. I don't really like that. We've got our Varus option, or we've got a couple of Voltex options. Honestly, I really like the stock rear wing. I like that it's got the body paint color on there and everything. Dude, this looks absolutely insane. And now, our final touch, we're gonna have to get some really nice rims and tires on this bad boy. I'm not sure what I want, but let's see what we can do. Now here's the deal. I don't know if this is gonna look better with white rims or black rims. So I'm gonna throw white on here and do we actually, do we wanna change up the color a little bit? Should we go with, oh, you can, you can get carbon rims. Why have we never done carbon rims before and what, what exactly were we thinking? I'm gonna say let's, let's go with a satin metallic rim up 
front, we're gonna go with a white satin metallic. And then in back, we're gonna see what it looks like with carbon instead of the, the regular black. Ooh, see that's, dude, that's, that's gonna be hard to beat. But honestly, I really like the, the white as well. So let me go back here. Let's go all the way back. We're gonna view the car from the side. What do you guys think? Oh, that is so tough. Whew. I really like both. It just kind of depends on what look you're going for. I feel like I'm, I'm almost leaning towards the white though. Let me see it from this side. Not that it's, it's really gonna matter. I mean, I think the black looks good, but I just, I feel like the white makes a little bit more of a statement. All right, I'm down for it. We're gonna go with satin white rims all around. Let me know what you guys would have chosen, but definitely know that we, we are gonna end up, uh, oh shoot, we need to go to rims. We're gonna end up doing some more some more carbon rims in the future. I don't know why I've, I've never checked that, but uh, bam, there you guys have it. That's the build. Oh my goodness, dude, it looks so good. I actually really like how this turned out. Let me see what our exhaust is sounding like. Make it a little bit more aggressive, a little more raw. I like the socks down sound. I'm gonna go all the way raw, aggressive, and metallic. Kinda gives it a little bit more of a throatier vibe, but at the same time, it still sounds like it should coming, uh, coming from a stock Evo here. So, wow. I think this thing looks pretty good. I actually really like how it turned out. Those headlights are brighter than my future. Let's go get this thing on a track. So we're gonna take this thing straight into the nighttime. Rather than messing around in the daylight or anything like that, honestly, I mean, there aren't too many races in the daylight that have a 380 or above. So I, I wanna make sure we're challenged today. I wanna see what this thing's all about and uh, let's get it, man. I'm, I'm excited about this. Gotta get up this hill. Oh shoot, gotta watch out for these rocks and stuff. So one thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, we did put some some yellow calipers on here because we chose the green and yellow flashing, uh, you know, underglow. I just wanted to try something different. I don't really like the flashing. I don't really like all the craziness, but um, I feel like a solid color looks good. I, just, I feel like when it's pulsing and flashing and changing colors and everything else, it just doesn't, makes it look a little bit cheaper, a little bit chintzier, but I'm always down to, uh, to mix things up. And I feel like this is kind of a, kind of like a Sprite car, if that makes sense. We've got lemon and lime, baby, at all times. So here we go, we're level 378. This is a level 400 race. Gonna be starting things off with a bang on that first little lead up right there, honestly. Not really all that impressed with the drifting. It seems very, very grippy, which is good in some ways. But when you've got those long sweeping corners, we might have a little bit of trouble here. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We can always kind of force it with an e-brake pull, but it's not my, not my favorite thing to do. I love this kit though. This body kit is insane. And we've got a straight off the bat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip the, uh, rip the nitrous. Woo, okay. Not our, not our best move right there, but we're okay. At least we, we gained a couple of positions, right? Probably would have been better to hit the nitrous here, but we're gonna be okay. This thing is fast, dude. Oh my goodness. See, I'm trying to, dude, I, I can't, I can't drift at all. We might have to take this thing back to the garage and put some, some slippery tires on it. Some like showcase or drift tires or something. Cause it, it just straight up, doesn't drift. I don't know why we ran into that person. That was not necessary. Talking with my hands, not paying attention with what's going on on the screen. But yeah, this thing is, uh, it's not, not really driftable, that's for sure. I'm gonna see if we can catch up to this guy. Let me see. Oh shoot, the race is, dude, the race is almost over. Oh, we've got three laps. Never mind, we're good. We are a little bit under, uh, a little bit under leveled, I think that's that's showing its face right now. And the fact that we can't drift around these corners is really hurting me. Woo! That's how how to make sure your competition doesn't pass you. Back at his second place, first his way up there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch it. 
started off with something very strong. Oh, we might be able to catch him. Is this him right here? We actually might be able to see, like, something like this. It's, I don't know. It's tough. It's really good in some scenarios, but in a lot, I would, I would much rather be able to actually drift around these corners. Have a little bit more control rather than cutting over grass and stuff, but in a straight line, this thing is a rocket. I just feel like we're going to take a, a lot more damage than we need to. I literally, I, I can't get it to drift. I just pumped the gas and everything right there. Like, you're supposed to lift off the gas and press it again. That's how you get these things to go sideways in this game. It just doesn't. It refuses to. This is odd. We did the normal, typical build that we usually do. I don't know, dude. Woo! Go ahead and hit our nitrous and let's, let's just worry about getting this win. Just gonna have to have to lift off the gas and just coast through some of these quarters to make sure we able to get at least kind of kind of close to the apex. And then cut the ones like this. All right. Just gotta learn the vehicle. This is one of the the most odd handling vehicles I've seen. Like we, our turning radius is so sharp. We have so much control and it's so grippy. It's it's like. Like I said, it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing mixed all in one. Dude, I literally, I, I can't get it to turn sideways. I'm like quadruple tapping the gas there. My goodness, man. Looks like it's not gonna matter though. We ended up getting the win and that's on a 400 level race. Not bad, dude. Millennium F high heat race unlocked. Where's that one at? Should we start heading over there? Looking like it's it's pretty far away. That's not it though. It's down here. It's all the way down here, dude. I don't know if that's worth it. Is there anything else up close to where we are? Something fairly highly ranked. Red Rock Tornado. Is that what we just did though? I think that's what we just did. We could go to the Tachyon. That's gonna be a little bit easier though. I'm looking for 400 races. Dude, all of our races are super, super far away. So we're just gonna have to race halfway across the map to get to them. Hopefully not run into any cops. We don't have any troubles. We could start our next event once we get there. We're already up to a three-star rep, which is pretty solid. We've also taken quite a bit of damage from not being able to properly turn, but. All in all, I feel like that was a pretty solid first showing. Dude, this is just amazing. Like, we're, we're 200 plus right now. And we're able to make these corners like it's nothing. Getting air, just, oh my goodness, bro. We're taking quite a bit of damage, though. Is there a... Yeah, there's... There's not a gas station on our way here. Shoot, we're... It'd probably be smart. Let's let's go hit this gas station first. This thing is just, a, it's a whole new monster. It, it's a different animal. I kind of love it, but I also kind of hate it at the same time. And to be honest, the, the green and yellow flashing, I actually don't mind it that much. I feel like the colors are so close that you can't really truly tell all that much of a difference. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not really focusing on it because I'm looking ahead of us in the race and stuff. But overall, I... I'm happy with this build. I think it looks really good. Race number two. Here we go, fellas. We're already looking pretty good from a heat perspective. I've got a feeling we're going to be getting uh, getting pretty crazy tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, shoot. All right. Probably not our best spot for us to use the, the nitrous right off the bat there, but we're going to be okay. There are a lot of popo up here. Whew. We're in a cop chase. We could have hit that. That repair shop right there for more um, more nitrous, but we've already used one of our repairs for tonight, so I'm trying to be as smart as we can. Shoot, that car kind of got in our way. We're okay, though. Is this a straight coming up here? Shoot, that would have been... If we had more nitrous, this would have been a good spot for it. Is it too late? Probably. After the, the banking left, we're going to hit nitrous on the next section. 
Here we go. Dude, I mean a corner like this, this is this is what it's made for. We're gonna hit nitrous through here? Yeah. Hyper speed, here we go, Chewy. Oh my god! How do we end up surviving that there, dude? We're okay. Why not? Add some style points to it. Woo! Yes, sir, dude. This thing is a monster, and to think we could have engine swapped this and had 500 more horsepower out of it. Honestly, that would have been scary at that point. I, I don't even... I don't even know if we needed that. If we would, we would need that. I feel like that would take it from a, a very accurate, fantastic handling vehicle into something out of my worst nightmare. We're 66% of the way through this race here. We actually do have somebody pretty close on our back right now. My bad, bro. Need to look in front of you, not behind you, Trev. We actually didn't take too much damage from that. And see, like a corner like this, we're going to be able to just, just turn. Not slide, but turn. There, I don't think there's a single other car in our garage that could have turned on a wet surface at that speed like that. Woo! This thing is just nutty. Looking pretty good so far. I have pretty much a straight shot here. We don't need to do it, but why not, right? YOLO! Probably going to end up running into somebody here and ruining the race, but it's worth it. JK. That's another win, baby. Oh my goodness. All right, let's 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 run one more. This thing is, is too much fun. Do we have anything over here that's a 400? See, this is the problem, is there just aren't too many 400 level races. We kinda, kinda went a little bit too hard with the, a little bit too hard with the, the build. Made it a little bit too good. We need a level five heat to be able to unlock that. We're not even a level four yet. Dude, I just need a 400 race, but there's nothing. I found one. We had to drive halfway across the map and evade like 30 different cops, but we made it. Final race of the evening. Let's see uh, Let's see what these fellas are made of. We've got a long straight right off the bat, so why not let her rip, baby? Whew. 15 pounds of nitrous straight to the face to start this race off. This is the Spirit of Oz. We've raced this one a couple times in the past. It's a fairly long point to point although I think this Lancer is gonna make it a little bit shorter than normal I cannot believe like I mean I guess this thing is close to a level 400 but I just I can't I can't believe how fast it is and I can't believe how well it hand oh that hurt that hurt a little bit shoot we've got cops coming up here we're gonna be okay gonna have to get around these guys that hurts Woo! okay It's getting a little bit crazy, girl. We had a couple of, of unlucky little situations there, but we're we're still fighting. We've got a long straight right here. Let her rip! Oh, there's a gas station there. We honestly really could have used that, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give up our our speed here for that. Be careful! Whoa! If there would have been a car in the oncoming lane right there, we could have been in big trouble. Likewise here, we're good. Dude, this thing, it, it's like it's, it's so sticky, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand how it's possible that we're able to, to hit some of these corners like we do. Like the, the other racers in this race just literally cannot keep up whatsoever. We've got a gas station off to our left right here. Are we gonna be able to sneak that? Nah, it's too far off the main road. Just gonna have to keep on pushing. 71% of the way through this race, and we are... Dude, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. This this is... I was worried because you can't, you can't drift. I was worried we weren't going to do well with it, but... It's so fast. Through so many of the other corners, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, dude. You make up time not being able to drift on pretty much every other section of it. This thing is... Is a straight up just bottle rocket. Just ready to explode at any moment. See a cop. There's another one up here in front of us. Gonna make sure he can't get us. Whoa, invisible cops. Gotta love that. Oh my goodness, we made it to our little spot here. See ya, fellas. We've got the speed to actually make the jump this time, too. You guys remember we tried to do this a couple episodes ago? We're already escaping here. 
But we're actually gonna. Looks like someone lost our target. Get in there Woo! and find that car. We made it. There's no way those fellas are getting up here. So anyway, this is a good spot to end it. Hope you guys enjoy. This is one of my favorite builds yet. Fairly simple, fairly clean, but a really good, good looking body kit. And performance out the wazoo. More performance than I was expecting. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Drop a like, subscribe. Let me know which vehicle we should customize next. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Palm City's going to look like hell in the morning because you just shredded it.